Today we're celebrating the second lighting of the candle of the Advent season, and we're lighting the candle of peace. The candle of peace reminds us of the journey that uh, Mary and Joseph took to go into Bethlehem. They went because there had been a decree set out that they had to go and register and pay taxes. But even in doing that civil, temporal thing, <clears throat> they were fulfilling the prophecies of the scripture that there was going to be one born who would bring about the peace that the world had lacked since Adam and Eve had sinned. And so in the, in the, the Luke account of what went on there, we hear, we hear this scripture. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quinarus, who was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in a and swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the end. So here are people doing menial stuff. She is pregnant. They don't know that she's gonna be delivered that day, but she goes. And the greatest event in history happened in a manger. C.S. Lewis said, want the world in a manger had something in a manger greater than the whole world. And uh, that was true when Mary gave birth to Jesus, who became the Prince of Peace. And our hope, our only hope of having peace in this world where sin has come and brought hostility and division and alienation, our only hope is Jesus Christ, who was born God-man, lived a perfect life, died in our place, was raised again to defeat death, and sits at the right hand of the Father, ruling over everything his blood bought and purchased. Nobody had any idea of all that it meant that night when a little maiden gave birth to a, a son in a manger. But Bethlehem reminds us that it is possible and we shall have peace on earth. Join me next week, we will light the third candle.